Ian, uh, goalless draw, but in the circumstances and after the last few weeks, what an excellent point. Oh, excellent. Yeah, a point away from home is always a good one. And uh, I thought we'd bust the game, but you could see the rustiness in, in the final third. Our, our quality weren't really there. But the boys were excellent. I mean, for the first game for over three weeks or two weeks, whatever it is, I thought we bossed the game really, really well. And uh, it was just that little bit of quality in the final third that was missing. Do you think that that's mainly due to lack of games? I mean, that, that sharp, you, lose, you do lose that sharpness, don't you, when you haven't played football? Right? Yeah, you do, especially in the final third, because you, you're looking for a little bit of quality. And uh, we had too many touches. Uh, didn't test the keeper enough on a few occasions, you know, we, we sky high. Uh, but I can't fault the boys. They were, they were superb tonight. They really were. They bossed the game from start to finish. I think they, they hit the post on, on a, a corner. And apart from that, I, I can't see a lot from the way we defended was really, really good. I mean, obviously, you want to win every game you play in. But what was it case, you know, you want to blow away the cobwebs tonight a little bit? Yeah, it seems it was about, it's, it's really important that we got out and played. That was the main thing. We ain't played for a while, and uh, it was it was it was a game that if you can't win it, you certainly don't lose it. And uh, I thought we defended well in numbers. You know, everyone worked really put a shift in, and uh, it was good. Just nice to be out on the grass again. That's the main thing. I mean, how frustrating has it been for you? You know, it's been frustrating for the players, but for you as manager as well, has it been? Are you been tearing your hair out? Yeah, you have. You know I mean, because. Uh, you, you want to play. You want to keep keep going and, and, and play the games. And people saying uh, we've got a hell of a run in there. But sometimes when when the momentum k- kicks in, you just go from Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and before you know it, you're the end of March, and we've only got a month to go. I mean, a point here. I mean, as a club, Lynn have never won here. So again, that's a that, that's a mark of how well you've done tonight, isn't it? I think so. Oh, I think it's a good point. I think we really do. I, we ain't got nothing to be ashamed about coming away from a point here it's made it hard for us and I thought we, we it was good we just lacked a little bit of sharpness in the final third but that had come with the amount of games we've got so there's no fear here it's a massive point for us made one or two changes Dale Southwell got his first full you know start for the start, club. Yeah. I mean I, I, I thought he, he did quite well he worked hard yeah, I thought he was excellent he made some good runs and he's only he hasn't got at, at that game time so the more times he gets on the pitch the minutes we only see the best of him. He's, he's, he's a good weapon to have. He's, a, he's an intelligent player. He really is. And you can see that he's played at a higher level. I've just seen the state of Peds' uh, ankle. I mean, a bit of an unsung hero playing with his ankle like that. Yeah, he's had to take a heavy strap in on it. He rolled his ankle at work. So uh, it was a touch and go if he was going to play. But Peds is Peds. He strapped it up and got on with it. But he couldn't run. And, and he's, it, it, it hampered his uh, agility. Uh, but no... Fair play to him for coming out. It looked as though first half he was struggling one or two times with his kicking a little bit. And yeah. But then when you see his ankle, the state it's in. I well, mean, that's it. Yeah. I mean, he's he's done well to turn out tonight. So that's uh, full credit to him. Again, is that the measure of the character of this squad when you've got people like Peds playing with an injury like that? Yeah. Well, they want to play. They really do. And you know, the, the way we've done gone this year is, is credit to them because they all want to be out there. They all want to pl- put on the shirt and they want to give it as best as they can doesn't get much easier. You go to Gated on Saturday. I mean, what, what's your take on that? Oh, really hard game. Uh, they're a good side, especially at home as well. I mean, we, I, know, we were, I think we were very fortunate to beat them at hard place. So, uh, but they're all tough. They're all tough. You know, uh, this running now, we've got 13 games to go and we're just going to give it the best chance. We, you know, we'll give it the best effort we can. Where we end up, we end up. But it won't be, for, like I've always said, it won't be for the lack of trying. We've got a squad of 16, 17 that's going to go all the way. Games come thick and fast now. You've touched on momentum. Is that what it's about now, building it up again? Yeah, it is. And this is the start of it. I mean, this is a a point away from home. It's always a good point in this league. Uh, And we will get better and sharper as the games roll in. That's for sure. York City lost 4-1 surprisingly tonight. I mean, can you take any comfort from that? I don't don't worry about anyone else. It's just about us. I don't don't care if they won 5-1. I really don't care about any other team in this league. It's about us. Uh, creating what we can create and seeing where we can go. What's the news on the uh, the other two lads at the moment, Ron Fry and and Michael Clun and, uh, and and obviously Simon Power? How, what what is the injury situation like now? Uh, well, Michael's still a little little bit away. Um, we're hopeful that Ryan Fry can play in the reserves tomorrow uh, and get some minutes, but it's it's a slow progression for him to build up his minutes. 
and we're hopeful that Simon Powell will be back in the squad the weekend. Uh, he's been with Norwich and he's back out on the grass at Norwich, so we're hopeful that he joins the squad. So that's another another boost going into the weekend. Yeah, it's a body back, which is great because uh, he's, he's he's a good talent, Simon, and uh, if we can get him out on the grass, it would hold us in good stead. And gives you op options as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, we need options. We need weapons coming off the bench as much as we can, and we need players all firing at, at the same time. So it's uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be a really enjoyable running. It really is. Like I said before, we ain't got nothing to lose.